Hi, my name is Dave, and today I'm going to be working on this Stirling engine that I acquired. I'm going to be putting it into my rocket stove. Should be a fun little project. So this is the Stirling engine. I came upon it purely by chance. Nice unit though, very well built. And it was designed to collect waste heat and turn it into electricity to be put back into the grid. Stirling engines work on the difference and expansion of gases between a hot end and the cold end. The crankcase needs to be charged with uh, nitrogen gas at 80 PSI. I'll do that later. So I'm going to connect this up to my rocket stove here. It's on. It was a little bit of a struggle. It's quite a quite a tight fit and a, and a lot of bolts to line up with the holes, but managed to get it done. And you can see there. Can you see that? There you go. There's the hot end, right? Going to be right in the middle of that flame. time to fire up the, uh, the rocket stove in the Stirling engine. I'm going to get the fire going with some fire lighters, some wood. charge the uh, crankcase with uh, nitrogen to 80 psi got a temperature gauge need about 500 degrees to start it up so all we need to do now is wait for it to get to temperature and we're off to the races we have a circulation pump and a radiator to keep the Cold and cold. Fire starting to go nicely. We got batteries to be charged and an inverter to give us 110 volts. Started up the pump. Slowly getting up the temperature. Once that fire starts to really go, it'll go pretty quick. Going nicely now. Okay, we're up to 300 degrees centigrade or 576 Fahrenheit. Try starting it. There we go. engine is working. I'm going to have to put some insulation between the rocket stove and the components. There's a lot of uh, radi radiant heat coming off it. Definitely going to need some insulation there. Let's cool it 
cooling fan going. Looking good. Just see the hot bulb and the flame there. Having a tough time getting the fire to reach a temperature of 500 degrees. So I've made it so I can supplement the heat with propane. Now we have no problem. It works best at 500 degrees. It was really quick. 